of shooting in Bullock County. WSCV's Eden Hodges was the only reporter on the scene last night, and she tells us where the investigation stands today. Investigators say that Bullock deputies followed an armed robbery suspect from this gas station. The chase ended about 10 miles later and the suspect killed. The attendants at this gas station tell me that they're a little shaken up. According to the GBI, Bullock deputies chased down the driver of a U-Haul truck suspected for armed robbery. Deputies say he refused to stop and using a pit maneuver, Georgia State Patrol helped stop the driver who then hit a power pole near Brooks Hendricks Road. GBI investigators say when deputies in a trooper approached the vehicle and asked the driver to step out, he started driving towards them. The officer shot and killed him. Investigators believe it all started here at a gas station off of US 80. He just came behind the counter and put the 99. object, like the sharp object behind me. With what he says was a knife to his back, gas station attendant Jay says he was forced to give away all the money in the registers and the safe. He said, like, give me the video clip, otherwise I will kill you. Jay couldn't access their surveillance to give it to him. Eventually, the man locked Jay inside a cooler where he called for help. It's, it's very scary and I can like, I, I couldn't even sleep last night, you know, and it, I, I'm still scary. Jay says he's reluctantly back at work today, feeling some trauma from the night before. The GBI is still investigating the death of the suspect. They're taking his body to the GBI crime lab for an autopsy. This gas station is actually just across the street from Pojo's, where a hit and run happened just a few weeks ago, turned into a deadly officer-involved shooting. In Bullock County, I'm Eden Hodges, WSAV News 3, on your side.